I'm Peter Story, and I've been with B Street since fall 2000, so coming up on 10 years. Uh, no, this is my second show for the B Street uh, series as a whole. I started um, a few years ago by directing one of the intern showcases uh, and then uh, asked to direct again, and they let me direct for the children's series, and last year I directed Go Dog Go. I think uh, I heard somebody describe it once uh, that that in acting you're looking inside out and then as a director you're looking outside in. Um, the, the director has a lot more responsibilities I think to deal with than, than an actor does. I, I think I could safely say that being an actor as well. Um, that usually when you're an actor what, what you have to deal with is pretty much right there on stage. The props that you handle, the costumes that you wear, the other actors that you interact with. Whereas the director there are certain meetings that you have outside of rehearsals on deciding what those costumes will be, deciding what the lights will be, deciding what the set will look like, um, making all those decisions that happen outside of a rehearsal. Uh, and whereas actors do have homework, they have come, they come home and they learn their lines, there's a lot of executive decisions that are made about the play as a whole that, that a director does. And, and a director is much more responsible for, for being true to the overall story of the play, whereas actors, I think, work kind of in, a, in, the, in the arc of their character. That's what they're more concerned with. And that's what they should be concerned with, is the arc of their character, whereas yeah. the director is more like, um, I guess a, a good uh, analogy would be like someone who plays in an orchestra versus a conductor. Someone who plays an orchestra of your violin, you're worried about your violin part in that musical piece, whereas the conductor literally has to organize all of the different instruments to make the piece as a whole. And that, that, that to me is the main difference. I think there. I think there's two reasons, uh, or there, there's two things actually. The B, B Street as a whole has invented itself and has and has found its niche as being a new works theater. That they they drive to do new plays, plays that are cutting edge, plays that to get the rights first on certain plays. I think the the B three series was created for two reasons. One, to be able to uh, allow B Street to do plays that are not new works. Mm -hmm and also to do plays that maybe uh, broach subjects that are a little bit um, more controversial or a little bit edgier than some of the more mainstream stuff that we see on the main stage. Uh, I Am a Camera is um, considered a classic. Uh, it was written in 1951 by John Van Druten and uh, opened with wild acclaim when it first came out, but also a lot of controversy. It was banned uh, by a lot of organizations, not just the play itself, but the movie. Uh, and I think a lot of people are not aware that the musical Cabaret was based on the play I Am a Camera. And a Cabaret, of course, is a huge hit, and most people love Cabaret. So I think a lot of the elements that people love about Cabaret um, can be found in I Am A Camera, and we're pulled from I Am A Camera. Uh, and some of those elements are um, a lot of drama and comedy that we can all connect to, and a lot of really compelling characters. You know, Sally Bowles is just, you know, she's like Ophelia. She's just one of the classic female characters in dramatic literature. And um, there's a reason why everyone loves her. It's because she's, she's very fun to watch. And I think that's going to be true. And I think, I think particularly with our... Um, our I Am A Camera production, the cast is dynamite. I mean, we have a, a, an a, a semblance of amazing actors that people are going to really enjoy watching. That's awesome. It's a story of, um, of, for me, the story is of unrequited love, of falling in love with someone who um, is not grounded enough for them, for you to catch on to them. And uh, it's that constant battle of of wanting them so badly, but if you express that, you might lose them. So you, you take with what you can get because they're just too wonderful not to have around. And that seems to me kind of the through line of this piece, and I think that's something a lot of people can relate to.